Hey, what's going on guys? It's Apollo here bringing you guys today's video. Today we're back on some Fortnite and today I'm going to show you guys how easy it is for me to get really high standings in the rankings of the game with a bunch of complete randoms. Like, for example, last time I played with some random duo, I got 5th place. So, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is today. And uh, if you are new to the channel, please drop a subscribe and leave a like. I'll tell you guys some tips on how to try to get that first win with some randoms. Now, Taken, I haven't gotten my first win yet, but I've gotten very close. So I feel like maybe during this recording here, I'll get my first win, maybe. So the first thing you want to do when you get into the game. So first thing you guys want to do is make sure that your partner has a microphone. If they don't have a microphone, then the most thing, I mean, the, the biggest thing I could recommend to you guys is just stay close to your partner because you would rather have, her, have it be a 2v2 situation rather than a 2v1 situation. So in this case here, my partner has a mic, so hopefully we'll be doing better with communication and such. Oh, uh, sounded like it was farther away. I thought it was on the next block over. I don't see anybody either. Oh, I'm lagging. Okay, I knocked one. He's on the car moving. He's right behind the RV. Right, he's peeking right side, he's going in the building. He's coming, try he's trying to get his buddy up. There we go. Good shit. Oh, there's someone on me. I'm down. He's on the step. There's two up here in the stairs. They haven't killed me yet. They're trying to... I'm gonna die here real quick. As you guys see there, we didn't do very good. But, on the other hand, um, we kind of had like... That was, my, that was more of my fault. Mainly because... I wasn't paying attention that well, and I didn't know that there was going to be other people in the town. I thought there was only two, so... Alright guys, so new partner, new game. Real quick. There's people up ahead. You see them. Well, that was god-awfully terrible. That's what happens when you pick somewhere and it doesn't work out like that. I don't know what's going on with me today, guys. I should be getting a win here pretty soon. Maybe close to one. Alright, so that's... Alright, okay. So that's what happens. Use that as evidence to see what happens when I communicate with the other person. Now, usually when I don't talk to people and I just play and listen... I do a lot better so let's see let's see how much better I do without talking to this person at all and my plan is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay with them and help go wherever they go basically like stay where they go maybe kind of lead the way but we're gonna see how that differentiates between talking to people and communicating and how sometimes communication is just not good to have because you know it can confuse people and other stuff like you saw two examples where I talked to the person and it was just it didn't go very well. So we're gonna see how well we do this round with not talking. And if we do good this round, now I consider good to be like top 10 groups. So if we get top 10 guys, be sure to drop a like on the video, okay? Also subscribe if you're new. Um, Call of Duty World War II is literally just around the corner and I'm gonna be playing that hardcore. So if we could get five likes in this video guys, why does this guy want to jump right? What the hell? Alright. Where's this guy going? Is he going straight down at this house? I think he's going right to this house here. We're just going to go with our guy and to help defend. That's all we're going to do, alright? That's what it looks like he's going to.
Gotta land on the roof, gather resources, and kick some butt. Now what I'm doing is just gonna help, it's basically playing the president, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that game, but where one guy's the president, one guy's a secret service man, and the secret service man has, like, has to protect the president at all costs kind of deal. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing, kind of that presidential guy role where I protect my other teammate. And usually most of the time, guys, if we do that type of role system, or if I do, per se, it usually works pretty well. It's like right now I'm just keeping an eye out in the area, making sure no one's going to sneak up on us because that's, that's where you could really get affected is when people sneak up on you. And I really just don't want to get too farly separated from my team member. And now given, this is me not talking. We both have microphones. You can see that, right? Top left corner. We both have microphones. But we're not talking at all. And I'm curious to know, guys. I want you guys to test this out. See if going into a random match with duos or squads, if, there's, if you don't talk, if nobody talks, let me know how much better you do if you do when somebody talks. Now, sometimes when you talk to people... They can help relay information, but most of the time, if they're randoms, they're just going to confuse you and make everything more difficult. So, let me know how that goes, guys. Be sure to drop a comment as well, because I'm curious to see how this goes. Because uh, most of the case, for me at least, most of the case for me, I usually get screwed over. And then, in turn, you know, I get really low scoring with losing and winning. So right now we're kind of in a pickle because we're in the open and uh, we have people coming in from the circle behind us. So looks like my partner's gonna run back here, and uh, I guess we're just gonna mosey on away from those guys. They kind of messed my partner up a little bit, so he's at 75 health. But are we dead yet? Nope, we aren't. And look. 29 people left, guys. I haven't t I haven't said a word to my partner. We both have microphones. Is this a coincidence? I don't know. We'll have to see. And look at this. We're on top of this huge mountain. My partner's going that way. Uh, I'm going to clear the top of this mountain. Because I'm not so sure that there's going to be... Oh, yep. Look at that. Somebody's base building. I'm going back down to my partner, though, because I've kind of gotten far away from him. And, uh, I'll have to show him, somehow, that there's people. Which may or may not be a good idea, but... Come on, dude, you got him, you got him. Wow. Wow. Damn, dude, I'm screwed up right here. I'm just gonna move, guys. We gotta move. I'm a one shot. I gotta heal quick. Okay, so this is in the circle. I'm gonna head way back here. And I'm going to stay below the hillside. That way I don't get screwed up. Don't like being in this little valley here. I'm going to run across. Get on the other side of this hill. Maybe. Oh no, don't lag. Oh look. They're battling. So we got two guys up there. 
and two squads down there. Damn it. How, bro? How did he kill me like that? Damn, dude, that sucks. But look, sixth place, guys. And I was alive for the rest of the end of it, pretty much, so... Honestly, guys, I personally think if you play Fortnite and play duos or squads without having, like, your friends to talk to, I think you do better. Just because, you know, you don't argue and stuff, and you don't go where people think is a good place to go. I don't know, guys. You tell me, but based on my experience, I always do better when I'm playing with randoms. If I play with my friends, I do absolutely terrible. Don't know why. That's just I think that's just a little thing with Fortnite, I guess, and communication. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please sure to smash the like button, guys. Get five likes on this video. And if you are new, please subscribe. And uh, But yeah, guys, let me know what happens with you guys and your Fortnite stuff. And uh, be sure to comment down below. Let me know if you think that playing with friends is easier or if you do better with playing with randoms. Personally, for me, I play better with randoms, yet I still have yet to win. But aside from that, this is Apollo bringing you guys the latest content I can bring each day. Um, be sure to check out my other videos guys and uh, also be sure to subscribe because Call of Duty World War 2 will be literally around the corner so I'll be playing that non-stop on that grind 24-7 as much as I can trying to hit for clips trying to level up in XP and stuff but if you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like on the video as well as subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video as always, guys, it's Apollo signing off. Peace.